So question came through is how can I have a page, a SharePoint page? But within my SharePoint page, I have quite a lot of sections and I would like these sections to just be uh, on a scroll, but I want to have a link for each section. So let me illustrate this. If I have a new page, I'm going to do a new, brand new page. And here I'm going to say meeting minutes, let's say because we took lots of minutes and I have some text that I'm writing as the meeting is going on. So let's say my meeting minutes looks something like this. It's got lots of text, great. But what I would like is to have a little link at the top to say approval, then another one for advisory, then another one for maybe committee report, etc. And I would put my links on the top. So it might not be that meaningful for meeting minutes, but if you have an intranet with lots, with a very long page, that's actually how we would build a uh, navigation. So let's start again this one. Instead of having a normal standard text, I'm going to just add a text area here. So here we go. So I, I add one web part per uh, little paragraph, if you wish. So I'm going to add another one and then another one over there. So let's plus text. So we already had the first one here. So we have one, two, three, four uh, web part area. So now I'm going to put my little uh, text a little bit lighter. So here I have my in attendance and then I will have my list of attendees. So because I want to show that it's really taking a lot of space, I'm just adding some dummy data. And what's really important here is that the text is staying as headline one. Let's go to the next one. So you can imagine that maybe I've uh, copy and paste some text from a different platform, from Word, etc. but it's headline one. If it wasn't, if it was just normal, I just want to put it as headline one. Now we'll see what's the interest of all this. Minutes and then the um, approval, isn't it? So approved, etc. Then we're going to do the same for another text and I will go a little bit faster for the next ones. So I've now pasted a bit more text everywhere and uh, let's just put something else here, new business, here we go, I have some dummy text. So now we can see that our document is definitely scrollable quite long and it would be great to just have some links at the top. So let's add the links first and then we'll see how we can link all this. So let's put a new section. Shall we put a new section or shall we modify this? Let's modify. And I'm going to put on the one third here, so it means on the right hand side, so everything is there. But on the right hand side, I'm going to have a web part, which is going to be links actually, because links, we can do some nice things, maybe using quick links. So quick links, now we're gonna say navigate through this page. And we just need to add a new link. So new link, we need to actually enter from a link. So first we need to prepare it, right? So cancel that. I'm going to say jump straight to a section that is below, jump straight to the budget area. So for to do that, we need to publish. Why? Because I need to capture the link and the link is only visible when we are in read mode. So now we're in budget and you can see that when I move my mouse, I have this tiny icon and if I click on this it just jumps straight to this. If I was doing the same on that one because we are in H1 as heading it jumps straight away here. So let's take the one of budget right click on it copy link now we can edit our page go to our web part and now we do add a link from a link Hop. just have to paste all this so let's observe a little bit what it does is that it's the same page of course but what it did is to give us a hash budget which is the title of our links insert this and now we can do that for all of them and the nice thing is that it's giving me the uh, title as it is but i don't really want that because i want to say budget then we would have to do it for all of them so better to use notepad on the side maybe and just copy and paste all the links or just remember what they were. So this one, for instance, is telling me that it's new meeting, hash new business. So I'm going to copy that. 
uh, let's go to committee reports so i'm going to copy that one and finally the announcement and i'm going to copy that one i don't really need a link to new meetings because if i jump on an announcement here it will show me the last bit of the paragraph so if you jump here it goes to here if you jump to announcement it just goes to the end so now let's paste all the links so we do add links then i'm going to do from a link and i would i like to use so the last one i pasted is going to be to announcement but i have a way to find the one before so let's just put announcement with an s because there's more than one and um, that's it it's already saved add a link now let's put the other links that i copied in my clipboard so i'm doing windows v instead of Control v and it gives me the previous one so i need committee report and then we go to others so committee report insert just rename it committee report and then we'll do the same with the other ones okay so now of course i have all my list but i can just reorder them so another budget is the first one so let's put budget then we have committee report and then we have new business and announcement let's test all this so we published we publish here we go now we are at the top of our meeting minutes or our page whatever it is and oops what happened sorry it's because in my address here you can see that it's already started with the previous one i uh, was testing earlier so now i'm at the top in attendance and i want to jump to budget here i am if i click back in fact i could even come back to this then i have i want to jump straight to new business it bring, bring, brings me to new business so that's how i'm going to do links and uh, uh yeah navigation within a page but a great thing about this is that now we used a link so link web part but i could actually replace by images so let's go ahead and uh, replace a couple of them by some nice image and i will just uh, do custom image then change and then here i'm going to maybe have something a bit uh, more appropriate to what it is so this one was budget so let's put a bit of uh, budget id in the mind of people clicking on it right so what is budget mm, do, do, do. yeah okay let's take this one so now we have a small icon and uh, let's do the same for the other icons okay so we have a few icons few images uh, attached to our links and as i said the nice thing with this is that if i come back to my web part edit it i can just change the format the format that everything is being displayed so i can make it as a button i can make it as style styles is quite nice but then as you can see you have to change the icon size so we have to make it a little bit bigger or better and i would actually use fill space but fill space doesn't show us the title so not not that easy to understand what is going to be this link so let's try again if we just do fill space and we publish it so publishing it will actually allow us to just move your mouse and then we can see the links directly so if we go to announcement we can see announcement it jumps to this so that's not too bad so that's one of the example anyway of doing a navigation within a page and as always i hope it's useful let me know if it's not useful and you just said oh, well you're just talking in vain please let me know as well